Greetings and salutations, anyone and everyone on the tube of you and the Twitch. It's in the parent on Twitch, too. Uh, but yeah, figured today we'd uh, open up a sword and shield box. Picked it up uh, like last week, Saturday, something like that, and I picked up this yesterday. So I right, I finally opened these up. But thank you for joining me. How y'all doing? Let's, let's just uh, get started. Move that off to the side. Open that up second. We start with the older thing first. I was actually very surprised I saw this at Walmart, to be totally honest. I figured it'd be gone. Walmart I went to, too, they had a lot of stuff. Cat is in here watching me. What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Why are you insane? I think it might come with a special card. Not this one. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, getting these out without... Really? Good job, packaging. Uh, off to a great start today. Open up the celebration stand. It's just like all the packs are open, resealed. That actually blew my mind if that happened. Right, whatever. Home to me packages. Man, a Lapras. I didn't realize that was Lapras. I move this off to the side. I do not have any room for anything right now. It was both all planned out and not planned out in any way, shape, or form. This is so quiet. Alrighty then. So what have we got here? We got a Snorlax, a Lapras. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one's Zashian and which one's Zamazenta, but there we go. Let's start with a Snorlax. Uh, part of me is wanting to save one because I like saving one thing for uh, this collection. But uh, I also do still have, uh, I bought a, a Zacian and a Zamazenta uh, an ETB, so I could only open up one right now, so I don't need to actually uh, save any packs for right now. I'll do that with another, another thing. And yes, I open up my freaking packs stupidly good. <laughs> Keep everything, everything nice and orderly, then I put it all back in there. And then I resell it. No, not really. Uh, anyway, we got a ball toy, a chin chow, a crabby. That was a nice, actually, little crabby pick. Mincino? I don't know what that is. Kind of cute, though. A Galarian Ponyta. A Reverse Hollow Tyranitor. What the hell is a Tertonator? Tur the basic. I was thinking it was an evolution. And our first rare is a Ninetales. That is actually a cool looking Ninetales picture. Hopefully the camera, I has, have a light on now, so hopefully the camera will focus a little better. Eh, it's kind of focused a little bit. Can't tell. If, maybe, I don't know. Energy, a Seeking, a Thwacky, and a Lucky Egg. I have no clue on anything in this, uh, this set at all. So... Everything I find is a surprise to me. Probably not a surprise to any of you guys. Seeing that's like an old set from what, like, fucking, I don't know, three years ago or something. Oh my god. Clary Ponyta on top. 
I think I see something special in there. Sobble. I agree with Grant from uh, Team Four Star. Sobble's adorable. Merrick, Maractus. Mudbray, little donkey. Ponit, pon Ponyard. Something like that. Glaring Mouth with a Reverse Hollow. And Cramorant V. Hold all the, uh, any Vs, V Maxes, anything special off the side. Energy, Team Yell Grunt, Hitmon Lee, Salazzle, Salazel, Salandit's Evolution. I know Salandit, sort of. Cram and V, that's the hit right there. Right? That is the, that is the hit. That's what all the kids are wanting. Imagine being one of the people that just like tears it open, you know, does it all does it all nice and neat in one fell swoop. Then you then you get to me and just like Where did you get the money for this? <laughs> drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. That actually surprised me. I'm gonna take a guess I know who that is, but now I need to go look at that. I'll do it after this, but whoever that was, thank you for the 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 tip. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I know know what it is. Uh but I'll thank you properly after I after all the card stuff. Uh, Mudbray. Hoot Hoot. Man, I feel like I haven't seen Hoot Hoot in forever. Pin, 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 Pinkurchin. A Vulpix. A Nick at Night. Metal Saucer. Hey, Troa. So it was you? Yeah, I figured. And a Muds, Mudsdale. Oh, it's a Mudbray evolution. Didn't see that first. Fire energy, metals. Okay. Reverse hollow and the regular. Rotom bike, a big charm, and that's it. How you doing, Troy? Come to see some Pokemans. I haven't really touched uh uh brain networking. Uh Pikmin uh what what is it? Pikmin something Pikmin Bloom. I haven't really touched Pikmin Bloom since like that first day. <laughs> anyway, we got a Mana. I kinda like these pictures of the uh like like it's a, a real picture. Like that like whoever made that knows what they're doing. I wish it would focus on the on the Card. I feel like it's still focusing on the whatever. A Snom, a Grookey, a Shelter, a Mawile. Mawile looks so cool. A Reverse Hollow Frost Moth. Well, that's a Reverse Hollow Rare. I love it. And a Gengar. Hell yeah. I'm perfectly content with that. Psychic Energy. Heat More. Galarian Stunfisk and a Hyper Potion. Well, so far, halfway through, we got our one hit, our Cramorant. And then watch the second hit be Cramorant V. Granted, I have no idea if there's like any, any like actual designation amount of hits or anything like that in ETB. Probably not. It's probably just random, uh, random packs. Just pulling random packs off the off the conveyor belt or whatever. Throwing them into ETBs. Choodle, Rhyhorn, Rookie D. That looks actually like scary almost. Also, is the camera not focusing on the cards? Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's just my camera sucks. Krabby again. A Grookey. Reverse Hile Silicobra. Never seen him before. And a Snorlax. There we go. That's the hit right there. I think it's Steel, if I remember right. Team Yell Grunt, Hitmon Lee, and a Salazzle again. Looks good to you. Alright. Like I said, it might just be my, uh, me. Uh, 
I've mentioned it before, but kind of one of my uh, wants when it comes to Pokemon for collection-wise is to have one unopened box of every base set. So like an unopened booster box of a uh, Sword and Shield base, unopened booster box of a... Uh, uh, what came before that? I don't know. X and Y base. Uh, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon base. Black and White base. Stuff like that. Obviously, the farther back, I, farther back you go, the more expensive it would be to where it's definitely not going to happen unless I win the lottery. But, uh, I don't know. This is something I think would be cool. Just just a base set. And we've got a Ball Toy, a Chinchow, a Sizzlepeed, a Galarian Zigzagoon. Looks like a, uh, a, 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 first, a, a prisoner. Uh, white and black. White and black stripes. Munma. Drapion. Oh, I didn't know, uh, Scorpy had a, uh, evolution. A frost moth, uh, uh, foil. <laughs> Man, my brain is not working right now. Steel, a Kingler. There we go. Now we got Krabby and Kingler. A Rhydon and a Big Charm. But I just think it'd be kind of cool to have a, uh, a sealed booster box of like every base, because then that's that's the like that's the start of that series of Pokemon cards, which is part of the reason I don't want to. I'm still questioning if I want to open up my second ETB. I got a bare minimum; it can be my sealed product at the moment for sudden for Sword and Shield base, and we still only have that one Cramorant. Cotton Eye Joe, Score Bunny. There we go. We got a starter. Oh no, uh, Sobble is a starter too. Silicobra again. Different one, I guess. Uh, Yamper, a Grookey, Citrus Berry, and ooh, who are you? Delmise V. What in the world are you? Are you an anchor? Is that an anchor Pokemon? Kind of the anchor down here and then the ship's uh, steering wheel. Alright. There we go. Second V-card. Giggity, I guess. Uh, Darkness Energy or something like that. Subwool. Dugtrio. What the t- Apparently something scared that Dugtrio. And a Switch. Your Nintendo Switch. All right, last pack. Did we get anything good? Hopefully, maybe. Pull up the uh, bravest card right here. Just out of nowhere. The rarest card, Weedle Hollow. Don't lie to me, I know that's the rare card. Another score bunny, I feel like that's a different score bunny. A Nick at Night. Chinchow, a Diglett. There we go. We got Diglett and Dick Duck right now. Pharaoh Seed, Reverse Hollow Drizzle. We got a Mud, a, a Sobble, and a Drizzle, and a Galarian Rapidash. So now we have a Galarian Ponyta and Rapidash. Leaf, Metal Saucer, Rotom Bike, and a Big Charm. Rarest I know of. Exactly. See. See, that's why I haven't found it yet, because Caterpie is the uh, the rarest of the rares. That's why I did, that's why I didn't that's why I didn't get one, because it's the rarest of the rares. But now let's open up the uh, Dark Sylveon Celebration Stand. I mean, just banging the desk. Uh, saw this and uh, what's the other one? Blaine's Charizard at Walmart, and I prefer the Sylveon. As much as I love Charizard and Charmander and all those evolutions, I prefer uh, Eevees, and I didn't want to buy both of them. What do we got? I think it's like a couple celebrations pack and then like one or two bonus packs. One, two, three, four celebrations, a battle styles, and a vivid voltage. I can tell you, I don't necessarily need the vivid voltages because 
uh, that's like the only series recently I've actually was able to buy an entire booster box for. Uh, Battle Styles, I wouldn't mind still having a few more of these. Tin is cool. It is. Like, that's one of the reasons I kind of wanted to buy it, is because, I mean, one, the, the Sylveon. So, I mean, you know, like, it's a cute little Sylveon card. Uh, but then, it's you know, it's just a, a nice looking, you know, nice looking tin. I mean, it's not that big, but, um, you know, it's just a nice little storage tin. That's kind of where I've been feeling about with uh, when it comes to getting Pokemon stuff is like as much as a uh, having a booster box is nice for an amount of cards. Uh, I kind of like I kind of like getting yeah, whatever I'm trying to put this t steak. <laughs> I kind of like getting a uh, uh, like these tins. Uh, like the last tin I opened, little mini tins, little celebrations mini tins. In case you didn't see it last time, I've already opened it, so I'm not gonna do anything, but. Those things, they're just, you know, cute little something more than just a box of cards and that's it. You get something that you can actually, like, hold on to, use in some fashion, if you care. I care, but I'm sure there's many people out there that don't. Let's see, we got a bell sprout. A Bronzor, a Murkrow, Horsey, Cherubi, Reverse Hollow Indeedy, Indeedy, Indede, something like that, and a Lorantis. I think I might already have them. Water Energy, Scroll of Scorn, Bruxish, and a Bouffalant. these in a different pile off to the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, come on. Oh, vivid voltage. I believe. I believe. How I open them right here is why I still have uh, still have very decent looking uh, base jungle etc sets uh, booster packs just saved, <laughs> open and everything. But uh, it's because I'm weird like this. Let's see, we got a Milkery, a Whooper, a Ninkada, a Wismer, Drillbur, ooh, Reverse Hollow Dialga. Is, I'm going to consider that a hit. And uh, an Angel Ash V. I think I already have him. Uh, like I said, uh, Vivid Voltage was the uh, only set I have a uh, was able to get a booster box of like a couple months ago. So that's the only one I actually do have a lot of cards for. Uh, Churchester Bath, Galarian Stunfisk, and a Coating Energy. But I'm going to count those both those as hits because... I mean, one, to me, a V is a hit. Uh, and then a Reverse Hollow Dialga. I mean, it's a freaking Dialga. Isn't Dialga like a legendary? Legendary from uh, the the new re-releases. I mean, obviously, before that. Uh, what is it? I want to say Platinum is one of them, but uh, I think Platinum, I think of one of the uh, like Yellow Emerald, one of those. Same way you open all of yours. <laughs> Xerneas on top there. That's a pretty card. Cosmoem. God, I like that because it's like got the little Pokemon right there and then like she's sleeping. It makes it look so cute. Like, how is that not... How, how can you not say that's super cute? That's just cute. Well, that is a... Uh, a foil and a half. Uh, Zekrom. God, look at that foiling. Like, I can, I can barely read the damn card. <laughs> Jesus. I would like to play this card in attack mode. No, it doesn't work like that. Oh, crap. Sorry. 
and a Solgaleo. I wonder if that's the same person. Or like sisters or something? I don't know. I don't know if all these are hits, because I know like I think every single card in the celebrations is a foil, so and I know I've already gotten uh some of these from the previous packs, so from that celebrations mini tin. But man, this freaking Zekrom, like <laughs> you can't even read the freaking card. More foil the card? Pretty much. Like I Outrage does ten more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Uh, you can kind of like, like, gotta like move it away from the light in order to be able to read it. God, just there you go. Can you read it now? <laughs> can you read it now? There you go. Can you can can you read it now? This Pokemon does forty damage to itself from Bolt Strike. One hundred twenty damage, but twenty forty damage to yourself. That's a I feel like that's not. Seeing as you only have one hundred thirty HP, I feel like that's not too good. Like, seriously, you can't even, like, you can't even read the freaking card. It's too foil. There is such a thing as too much. Kyogre on top. Getting all the legendaries would be perfectly content with me. But I think, like, the majority of the stuff in Celebrations is the legendaries. Uh, Yvetel, Yveltal, Xerneas again, and the Lunala. Again, it's that same, same girl. She like the, uh, thing that's XY era? Or is that, no, that's Sun and Moon. Uh, she like the Sun and Moon, uh, lady or something. Get in the pack. Back in the pack, I should say. There we go. You pretty much only know the first gen. That's pretty much me. First gen, second gen a little bit. Third gen, not really. Anything fourth and beyond, don't ask me. I don't know. The, the, they're Pokemon. That's about it. Like, I only know X, X and Y, Xerneas, and Yvetel, I'm pretty sure, is Y as well. Like, I think because uh, the... I remember the... Uh, uh, like, the antlers and stuff like that. And then, like, uh, Zekrom and uh, whatever the white one is, I'm pretty sure it's black and white because of that same thing. They're basically black and white. I only remember Dialga and whatever the other one is because of... Uh, God, what the hell? I can't remember what the hell they're called. It's, it's, it's the generation that just re-released. Like brilliant. Brilliant. Pla Is it Brilliant Platinum? Something like that. I don't know. Give me red and blue any day. I'll know, I'll know all 151 of them. Groudon. Oh, hey. There we go. Dark Gyarados and a flying Pikachu. Oops. Well... That's taken, I guess. Oh, well. Have fun, whoever takes that. I actually have a uh, pre-release Dark Gyarados, so that'll go nicely with that. Uh, let me see if I have them right here. Do, 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 do. Well, I got that Gyarados. Uh, nope, don't have him right here. Might be in my other stack, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through everything just to find it. Might not even be in there. You know the starters for the second, but not what they evolve into. I know. I know Totodile, Cyndaquil, and oh my god, uh, Totodile, Cyndaquil, uh, the 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 Leaf one, uh, you know the Leaf one. <laughs> I know, I know it. 
It's one of those things on the top of my top of my ton. Come on, let's get a uh, get a starter in this. Let's go. Uh, let's go Charizard. <laughs> Just because I want a Charizard. Groudon, Lugia. I already have that Lugia. Birthday Pikachu. And Lunala. And the Lunala. I kind of like the foiling on these. Way better than the foiling on that one, to be totally honest. So now I got two birthday Pikachus. That one is in here. I have... Boom. OG birthday Pikachu. I think there's something with it, if I remember correctly. I looked at it and there was like a um something with it that I feel like would make it probably be like a PSA six or something like that if I got it graded. But I don't remember. Yeah, there you go. Twenty fifth anniversary birthday Pikachu and OG birthday Pikachu. Don't they look exactly the same? Like really they do. Except for the uh the twenty fifth actually. Okay, the if you if you managed to remove that, they'd still be different because this one, uh, yeah, like this one only has the ninety five, uh, ninety five, ninety six, ninety eight Nintendo Game Freak copyright. The OG birthday Pikachu has a copyright, uh, nineteen ninety nine two thousand Wizards. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Yeah, if it wants to focus. Oh, there. Hey, yeah, there you go. See, 1999 Wizards. I did not know it focused like that. And then the new birthday Pikachu does not. If it wants to focus. There you go. See? So if you yourself want to manage to know the difference without the 25, there you go. That is the difference. Uh, but that is uh, that's that's everything. That's all. That's all of our hits. We got the two from the Sword and Shield, uh, the two from uh, Vivid Voltage. I think is what they're both from. Yeah, just in the one Vivid Voltage pack. And then those are the Celebrations hits. I feel. I mean, I don't know if they're actually hits or not. Zekron might be. Dark Gyarados probably is. Um, them two, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but either way, hope you all enjoyed it. I don't know what to say. I never know how to end these things, but yeah. I still, God, this is this is Zekrom. Just like there, like I said, there is such a thing as too much. See, like you can see it right there, and you can see it's still foiled, but you can actually read the card, and then you do that, and it's just like, oh, good lord, what am I looking at? Like I, I feel like it's too much foiling. Like imagine having that on this card. On the flying Pikachu, because like it still has foil. You can see it. It's still foiled and everything like that. But you know, it's not overbearing. Uh anyway, like I said, I don't know I don't know how to how to end these, but hope you guys enjoyed it. And that is the uh uh like I said, what did we open? The uh, sword and shield ETB uh, the Vivid Voltage and Battle Styles, but only Vivid Voltage had anything good. And then the Celebrations. Uh, I don't know what'll, what'll be next time. I mean, and if you want to, uh, the Sylveon card, which I think is a hit. That's why I bought it. Um, but yeah. Uh, next time, probably gonna be, I don't, I don't know when next time will be, but, uh, I have a box of... Uh, Match the Gathering, Adventures for Forgotten Realm, Collector's Box I need to open up. So that'll probably be the next thing sometime. Uh, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to do all the liking and subscribing and all that shenanigans, blah, 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 whatever. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time.